In this problem, 135 milliliters of 0.4 molar HCl, a strong acid, is mixed with 350 milliliters of 0.25 molar NaF, a salt. What is the pH of the final solution? So these sorts of problems where you're mixing an acid and a salt that's gonna produce F minus, which we know is a weak base, are titration or acid base neutralization problems. And they all have three steps, and I've underlined them in green here. The first step is to dissociate your initial compounds into their ions. So HCl is gonna split up into H plus and Cl minus, while NaF is gonna split up into Na plus and F minus. And you can see I've circled the two ions that are gonna actually have an effect on our pH. We know Na plus and Cl minus have no effect on the ultimate pH of the solution, so I went ahead and crossed them out, and H plus and F minus are really the only players here in determining our pH. So step two is to set up an ice table for the reaction of those two ions, H plus and F minus. They're gonna create HF, right? So now we have an equilibrium reaction here. So in order to get the initial amounts in concentration or molarity of H plus and F minus, I had to do some calculations over here in the green boxes. So you can see I started out with 0.4 molar HCl, which means I had 0.4 moles of HCl per one liter of solution. But I know I only had 135 milliliters of that HCl solution, or 0.135 liters, thus I only had 0.054 moles of HCl. And I had to find the amount of moles of HCl so that I could put it over the total liters of our mixed solution, 135 milliliters plus 350 milliliters, to get the actual molarity of HCl, which turned out to be 0.11 molar. And note here that I've written this, this is the molarity of HCl or H+. That's because HCl is a strong acid, and any amount of HCl you start out with is gonna be the same amount of H+, that you end up with, because it dissociates into H+, completely. That's why it's a strong acid. So I went ahead and plugged that 0.11 molar here beneath my H+. Then I did the same exact thing to obtain my F-. minus. So I started out with NaF, 0.25 moles of NaF per one liter of solution, but we only had 350 milliliters of this solution, or 0.35 liters. So I found moles of NaF, and then I divided the moles of NaF by the actual total liter amount of our mixed solution, which was the 135 milliliters or 0.135 liters, plus 350 milliliters or 0.35 liters, and I got 0.18 molar. So now I had my initial amounts here in molarity. I'm assuming I started out with zero molar HF. And then in step two, what you do is you take away the limiting reactant amount. So the limiting reactant is the reactant that runs out first. And we know that since 0.11 is smaller than 0.18, our limiting reactant is gonna be H plus. So I took away 0.11 molar from each of my reactants, and of course that amount is gonna go in to our product, HF here, and then I subtracted 0.11 from 0.11, and I got zero, and I actually put that in quotation marks because this is not actually zero, but we're gonna correct for it in step three. 0.18 minus 0.11 is 0.07 molar, and finally zero plus 0.11 uh, molar is 0.11 molar. So now in step two, you move to step three by reversing the reaction you just made an ice table for. So now I'm gonna reverse H plus plus F minus goes to HF and make it HF goes to H plus plus F minus. So that's my step three, I make another ice table. And so I know I started out with 0.11 molar HF from my step two ice table. And I'm gonna assume I started out with zero molar H plus, because that's what I was left with after step two, and 0 0.07 molar F minus, because that's what I was left with from step two. So those are my initial amounts of molarity, and I set up my change row this time using X terms. So since HF is a reactant in this case, it's gonna have a negative X, and it's one X, because it's got a coefficient of one here, and then my products are both gonna be plus x, and they both have coefficients of one, so it's plus one x and plus one x. My equilibrium row is simply the i row plus the c row. 0.11 minus x is 0.11 minus x, zero plus x is x, and then 0.07 plus x is 0.07 plus x. So after step three, after you finish your ice table, you're ready to set up your equilibrium expression. 
So since HF is an acid, it's actually a weak acid, we're gonna set up a Ka here for our expression. And we know we're gonna have concentration of our products, H plus and F minus, over concentration of our reactants, HF. So you should have access to a Ka table if you're doing this problem, and you'll find that the Ka of HF is 7.2 times 10 to the negative four. So I went ahead and plugged that in for my Ka, and then I plugged in X and 0.07 plus X for my product concentrations, F minus and H plus, and then 0.11 for my reactant concentration, HF. And you can see I've actually left off this minus X here, and I was able to do that because the shortcut rule in this case actually applies. 100 times Ka was less than our initial reactant concentration, 0.11. You can see I've tested that here, and that allows me to ignore this minus X. So I went ahead and did some algebra to simplify uh, this reaction to try to isolate X. And you can see I'm actually left with a quadratic equation here, X squared plus 0.07X minus 7.92 times 10 to the negative five equals zero. And you actually have to employ the quadratic formula to solve for this. So your A would be one, your B would be 0.07, and your C would be negative 7.92 times 10 to the negative five. You'll end up with two answers from the quadratic formula. One will be negative and one will be 0 0.0011. And why this X is important is because it tells you the final concentration of H plus. The H plus here is what is ultimately going to determine the pH of the solution. So really we need this X and that's what we got 0 0.011. Now we can say, pH equals the negative log of the H plus concentration, or 0.011, and we can say the final pH must have been 2.95. So see, really all we care about in step three is the H plus here. If we had been dealing with a base, we would probably be caring about just an OH minus, but the H plus is really gonna be the driver for determining the pH of this final solution. The F minus pales in comparison to determining the pH relative to this H plus, so again, we found that X, plugged it into pH equals negative log of the H plus concentration, and found our pH. I really hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you in the next one.